welcome to lavanya's computer classes in this video i will go to explain you know, step count method for calculating time complexity in the previous video already explain what is time complexity what is time complexity means how much time the average time is taking for executing a algorithm for executing one algorithm how much time we require that is explained by the concept of time complexity now in this uh, video how to calculate time complexity using step count method so i will explain step count method in this example for example i will take i want to calculate oh, sum of elements sum of all the elements in the given array this is the program sum of all the elements in the given array for this program in the given array first i'll write the algorithm for this uh, program and then find what is the time complexity of this program so first i'll write the algorithm for this so int sum sum is the my program function name and this is the sum of the elements in the given array so i need one no, array that is o, a array name is a and o, size of the array is n so int a and int n so this is the sum of the elements function name then flower brackets are started then sum i want to calculate sum so i will take one more simple variable sum equal to zero this is also integer data type next i want to take the loop because i want to calculate all the elements in the given array so for i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus then calculate sum sum is equals to sum plus a of i so this is the function uh, sum is calculated then we go for printing the sum so return sum so whenever the function is over just to close the algorithm so this is the program algorithm for sum of all the elements in the given array now i want to find out what is the step time complexity of this algorithm using step count method so in this step count method so our step count method we have to prepare some table like this one is the cost cost then frequency and then total cost cost frequency total cost so what is the cost means cost is the number of times the particular line is executed uh, frequency is the total number of times so the particular line is executed total cost is the product of cost and frequency okay so in this example first to find out how many lines are there how many lines are there mean this is the step one first one is the heading name of the cursor name of the function algorithm it is not counted the count is start from here this is the count first step step 1 this is step 2 this is step 3 4 and then this is the output step 5 and this is the step 6 because it is the only 1 2 6 flower brackets open brackets to last close bracket the program is executed so six steps are there in these six steps the, these brackets for executing these bracket the machine is not at all taking any um, time so this is not considered line 1 and line 6 is not taking any cost of the time for execution so we start from here so this is the int sum equal to 0 so this is the initialization statement so how many times this line is executed what is the cost of this line means it takes only one because it is executed only once that is called as frequency so how much time is taking means we don't know that's we take some constant time that is c1 so what is the total cost of that line means product of cost and frequency that is 1 into c1 that is called as c1 only so that is the this line is completed then loop for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so how many times what, what is the cost of this line mean that is also we don't know no that's why take c2 constant time then frequency how many times this loop will be executed so how many times this loop will be executed means it is executed up to 0 to n minus 
zero to n minus one means how many times? N times. And finally, checking n plus one also because if the condition is false, then only it is exit from the loop. So for n plus one also, it is checking. So that's why what is the frequency of the loop statement? Means that is n plus one. N times the program is executed. For plus one is for uh, checking the condition for exit also. That's why totally n plus one. So what is the total cost? Means C two into product n plus one. This is for loop. Now the next line, sum equal to sum plus a of i. So how many times? What is the cost of this line? Means this is constant C three. How many times the program is executed? Means it executed for n times. Whenever the condition is true, that time only the program is executed. So frequency is C three into n. Now the last line, last line is return sum. So what is the cost of this one? Means C four. How many times it is executed? Means only once. So total cost is C four into one C four. Now I find the total cost of this total algorithm. So total cost equal to sum of all these costs. That is total cost of this algorithm equal to C one plus C two into n plus one plus C three n plus C four. Okay, now uh, I multiply C two with uh, n plus one, so C one plus C two into n plus C two plus C three n plus C four. So in these terms, n is the common, so we'll take n is common, so C one plus n n is there in the C two plus C three also plus C two plus C four. So all constants are keep it in one place. So that is n into c two plus c three plus c one plus c two plus c four. So all constants are considered as totally constants only. So just keep it aside. So what is the time complex of this total entire algorithm? Is big O of n. So this is the time complexity for any algorithm using step count method. So this algorithm name is sum. So t of sum t for um, time complexity of sum of n. N is the number of elements in the array. So O of n, big O of n. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and like it and share it. Thank you.